Want to be best dressed at school this year? Here's more than 40 ideas on how to upcycle your old clothes to transform them into pieces that all your friends will definitely want to borrow. Hi, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY and I show you how to remake your clothes to be just as unique as you are. So let's start with seven no so upcycles that are perfect for this back to school season. And in this video, I'm just gonna be giving you upcycle ideas, but I do have a full step-by-step -step tutorial for every single upcycle I mentioned in this video. So first, let's talk about bleach tie-dye. If you have an old t-shirt or hoodie that you're just kind of feeling blah about, try this bleach tie-dye method to make it something that you love again. And I also cropped it, and for me, that can make a big difference. And at least if you're cropping it yourself, you can make it a length that passes dress code. Next up, try watercolor tie-dye or dip dyeing. To me, anything that's white or beige is a great candidate for dyeing. And if you like black, you can pretty much dye anything black. Here, I took this bodysuit and scrushed it up in the middle and dyed it two colors, and I really like the effect it gave. And you can also dye your jeans. First, I soaked these carpenter jeans in bleach, but RIT does sell a safer solution to take color away. But once they were white, I could dye them any color I wanted. And since green is my favorite color, of course I had to have green jeans. Now, if you're into the preppy look, you can also make your own patches and apply them without sewing. It's all because of the magic of heat and bond. Iron this stuff onto some felt, Print out a simple letter to use as a stencil, and this whole process could be even easier if you know somebody with a Cricut. Then lastly, just iron it onto a sweater. And I also think this will be really cool on some overalls for Spirit Week or even on a backpack. Now that I've taught you about heat and bond, let's talk about the wonders of interfacing. If you have a favorite pair of jeans that are starting to wear away in those thigh areas or knees and you don't want them to rip, try ironing a soft interfacing to the inside in that area to make your favorite jeans last a ton longer. And since we're talking about jeans, let's talk about those jeans that you're bored with. Try painting them. You can use fabric paint to paint an all over design like these cow print jeans or paint a simple multicolor stripe up the back. All right, now let's get to the good stuff. These next upcycles are for those of you who can sew or you can nicely show these to someone who can sew and get them to do it for you. So if your jeans are getting a bit too small, I have five school appropriate ways to make them bigger. One of the simplest ways to expand jeans is to add some sort of strip down the side. Here, I'm adding contrasting denim with star cutouts on the side. Here, I'm adding Adidas track pants. And here I'm adding snap side track pants and you can sew down the sides so it won't gape at the thighs. And here I'm adding a flared skirt on the sides for those of you who really like to stand out. You can also take two pairs of two small jeans and put them together to make one new pair of jeans that fit. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. We are in the middle of a series where we are upcycling our dream Pinterest wardrobes and it is so good. The series is just the absolute best and so we're just loving it and we're gonna continue it right on into the fall. So if you don't wanna miss that, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. Next up, here's a few 90s inspired denim thrift flips. And this first one actually has very minimal sewing. Try cutting slits down the side of your jeans and take some wide gross grain ribbon and weave it through the sides. You can also combine one of your flannels with an old denim jacket and turn old overalls into a tank top. Next, try turning a pair of wide leg jeans into cargo jeans by adding your own pockets. Here I teach you how to make your pockets from scratch, but you can also just cut pockets from old jeans and sew them onto the pants for a quicker transformation. And if you don't have any wide leg jeans, try turning your old skinny jeans into wide leg jeans. Just add a triangle piece of denim on the side and you've got straight leg or wide leg jeans, depending on how wide the triangle was. And you can also use this method to turn your skinny jeans into bell bottoms. And if you really like the mixed denim Look, try these paper bag waist jeans, which combine a lot of pair of jeans. Or you can simply add grommets to a too big pair of jeans and use a belt to cinch them in. And here's another idea for a too big pair of jeans. Try the crossover look. These are everywhere right now, but they're pretty simple to do yourself. And here's another amazing mixed denim vibe. This one only uses two pairs of jeans and alternates them with frayed exposed seams. 
But what if you're more of a hand sewer? Here's the perfect one for you. Try embroidering a design onto your jeans. I always get a ton of compliments when I wear these and you could literally embroider anything you like. And once you've done a few of these projects, you'll definitely have some denim scraps left over. So try adding them to the bottom of a t-shirt to make this denim corset tee. All right, let's move on from jeans for now and talk about hoodies. If you like hoodies, then you're about to level up. Try combining a hoodie with a sweater for a custom look, or you can combine a hoodie with a flannel for a designer look, or you can turn your hoodie into a corset or simply add a zipper and turn it into a jacket. And with this last one, I combined a bunch of different techniques and bleach tie dyed it, cut off the joggers to make shorts and added zippers on the shoulders for an optional sh off shoulder look. I'm not sure if this one passes dress code, but I thought I'd add it anyway. All right, next up, if you have really anything that fits kind of frumpy, try taking it in with exposed seams. This can be done with a serger or a zigzag stitch on your regular sewing machine. And I cannot wait for it to get cool enough here in Texas for me to finally wear this one again. And if you really have a more elevated style, definitely crop yourself some blazers. I have two methods for cropping blazers. This one is a no sew method and it comes out looking really professional at the end. This one is simply serged and hemmed at the bottom. Either way, if you ever wanna just set off a look, add a blazer. And I do sell these in navy and brown for my brand, Blueprint Signature, linked above and in the description box below or at blueprintsignature.com. And another great idea is to combine joggers and slacks for this look. These are one of my all time favorite upcycles and we're also about to list a few new pairs of these on my website this week. All right, let's move on to bags. I love a good tote bag and it's quickly becoming more popular than backpacks on every high school campus. So why not make your own out of old jeans? And this one in particular is cool because the straps are actually thrifted belts. But if you're looking for a backpack, boy, do I have the perfect one for you. Take all the scraps from the other projects we worked on and make yourself the creme de la creme of backpacks. This one uses vintage Levi's and Adidas track pants, but you can use whatever brands you're currently loving and it holds a ton of stuff. And we're just finishing these up for my brand as well. So if you're interested in buying one, sign up for notifications on my website so you don't miss it. And even if you don't want to make your own backpack, you could just make your own pencil case or essentials case to go inside your backpack. This one is super simple and it's made from denim scraps. Now let's talk about a few more accessories. Bucket hats are everywhere and you can definitely make your own out of jean scraps like this one I made for my daughter or this reversible one from Shearling Fabric and Adidas track pants that I made for myself. And this latest bucket hat is my new favorite and it's made out of old ties. And we do have these in all kinds of colors and patterns on my website. And you can also take some little scraps and make your own scrunchies because I mean, what would we do without a few of these on hand at all times? And lastly, let's finish this video up by talking about outerwear. I had this jacket that was gifted to me by YouTube and I wanted to make it special, give it a little DIY touch. So I bleached it and added grommets and chains. You can also add sleeves to a puffer vest and backpack straps for this amazingly cool coat that's easy to carry around between classes. And you can add puffer coat sleeves and pockets to a denim jacket for a retro Marty McFly vibe. So I know, I know your head is spinning from all the inspiration, but even just a few of these upcycles would completely level up your school wardrobe this year. So which is your favorite? Let me know in the comments and check the description box for all the full tutorial links and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss what I make next. All right, have an amazing first day of school and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.